Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. We got a double Brooklotti going, a double Brooklotti. Beer Barley 2008 and the Ooh, Organic 2009. We're going to test that new manga shirt style. Kids in bed style. Yeah. <laughs> you surprised me with the test it there. I thought you might... You might bring it down nope, a little bit. Nope. Once again, I tucked Seth in and said, hey, if you don't fall asleep right away, listen for it. He loves to, whenever he hears me editing, he'll he'll be playing a game and hear it go, test ah. it. So it's even called on in the household. <laughs> so uh, We got these right, set up. So organic is on the right. I got 297 on it. 296 on the, I believe it's beer barley. It could be bear barley, but I think yeah. it's beer. Yeah, bear, bear would barley. be fun. 298, 301. And new manga shirt <laughs> that would fit me, I think. Yeah, this one might fit you. It said extra large, but either, either I'm growing <laughs> this way or it's not quite extra large. All right, there's, so you pick these up, these are new. There's two things I like about Brook Well, just two one, it's good, that's always a good one, and two, their minimum is 50% ABV. Yeah, if well, you, you don't, don't know that, that. they're—I mean, all of their offerings, at least fifty percent ABV. Is it love all it. of their mm -hmm. offerings? Yep, even the little uh, mini. Uh, mm -hmm. Yep. Really. All right. You don't remember that from the live stream? Mm, I should. I don't. Yeah. I, I did not remember that. Yep. I hey, everything forty-six nope. on the little baby blue. Everything. No from sense. It's called the, the classic the body. Classic body. Fifty percent. Wow, ABV. way to go. Yeah. All right. So, are we going to start with our left with the beer barley? Sure. All right, now what did you know coming into this? Nothing. Nothing at all. I like it. <laughs> and you picked this up in Oklahoma. They, no, these are from uh, Dallas. Total oh, in uh, yeah, total in Dallas. First time I'd seen them. I believe they're both new or newer to the market. Mm. We have not seen these in our area. Nope. I can tell you not. that much. Yeah, we have not. Uh, beer Barley, this is 2008. Now it says on the back of the bottle, uh, distilled in 2008, hence 2008, bottled in 2017. Aged nine years in oak casks. Uh, somewhere in there, it did say the beer barley strain is the oldest um, strain of grain used. Got it. That's the original, like, strain. That's it. Yeah. Uh, both of these unpeated as well. Isla Grown. Cool. Mm -hmm. On the, uh, I'll say it wrong, Dunlosit Estate. That's it. Salty lemongrass, vanilla custard. Oh, right just, in. just lemon, just tangy. Hits the back of the palate, just hmm. makes it start salivating. Well, I'm going to say the allergy season's been upon me, mm. and my nose is a little blocked. That hit me last week. Yeah. Ooh, you got to be careful. Open the mouth a little bit when you go in. Fact is, we were gonna film because I've had kind of a uh, change of shifts. Kind of. Well, I was kind of. Well, I work. I did. I did Still work. Weekends. I did work eleven in the morning to nine at night. Now I'm eight to five, basically. Sure. That's messed with our Mondays. True. Yeah. Well. And so we've been filming at nighttime. Right. Last week, because of my allergies, we couldn't get together. Right. It was. Yeah. You bad. Were, you were being beaten. But no, very nice nose. Netflix, by the way, has Red Dawn on. You're free. Good. Mm. Watched it last night. Mmm. The original. Great Squeezy. palette. Mm hmm. Mmm. Caramels. Creamy caramel. Now, see, I get more of that vanilla cream on this. Vanilla custard. cream. Custard. custard. Mm hmm. When you were describing the nose, which I did not pick up the custard on the nose, I think because I'm a little blocked. I was getting it on the flavor. Oh, well, Still, okay, now I got a little bit of that custard in a there. Very, a very tart lemon. Mm. Still pinching the taste buds at the back. Finish that keeps going. Yeah, it is tart. It's got that, you're right, it hits all those same mm -hmm. sour, little tingle on the tongue as well. Mm. Finish, unless it's because my nose is a little blocked. I'm not getting much of a finish mm. at all. You are? Yeah. Yeah, the finish is very nice. 
Uh, lemon drops and hard candies and lemon drops. Huh. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Well, I've got an open nostril here. I should be able to. Yeah, and it hangs in there. Still there, it's going. Oh my, no, I'm not getting any of that. <laughs> Saturating the palate. Yeah, I get a Just, little bit of a velvety mouth feel. Not real complex. I mean, you got some caramels, you got some vanillas, you got the lemon, lemon grass, custard. And it hangs in there. It's still there. Got West Jolly's Glen Karen. Mm. And let me add a drop of water as well. It's very nice at 50% ABV. Hmm. And I have I've sampled these as well. That's the uh, that's the positive. When I pick stuff up, I get to sample it before I bring it over to parts. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So that's happened a few times. Like we've had a few bottles. Yeah, they're like, we got to do this right away, right away, right away. We got to do it. I'm like, well, I haven't even. No, we got to do it right away. And then you whisk them back. They whisk away. And I like when they used to linger on the shelf. And I'd be like, I think I'm going back to uh, Scott's 18. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's mm. left that that red breast over here. Let me try it again. My wife has about oh, killed really? another bottle. Another a whole other bottle. Yes. Whole brand new bottle. She killed the first one. Yes. It's a new bottle, almost halfway dead. gone. Woo! I know. But she poured in a glass like this. I'm like, that's a hundred dollars a bottle. <laughs> you need like, to drink I'm expensive. The cheap stuff mm. once in a while. Mm. I'm like, even I don't drink no, the hundred dollar whiskey every night. No. Uh-uh. But now she's warmed up. A uh, drop of water did not hurt mm. the beer barley at all. Actually, it also I, didn't open it up though for me. Either. Well, well, yeah, it's about the same. I, I added a pretty good drop of water yeah. to it. I thought it might open up a little bit. All right, still rich, still full. So I'm now nosing the organic. Um, you so the organic, it the uh, organic. Yeah, <laughs> uh, eight years old, distilled in 09, hence the organic 09. <laughs> Bottled in 2017, aged eight years in oak casks. 50% ABV. So this is from Mid Cool Farms. I'm sure I got that right as well. Uh, and it's organic. Hmm. Hmm. They were pretty close, but still different. You can tell them apart when I, yeah, when I try them at home. Kind of similar style. Um, unpeated and just... Uh, ex bourbon oak cask. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Boy, the nose. No, the a little nose more is burst different. of flavor out. A little of bit more um, oak. Yeah, I was gonna say I got a little bit more of the wood tannins even on the uh, on the palate. And almost, boy, that almost has, almost smells a little sherry. Mm. Almost some dark fruits. Brook Lottie also um, unchill filtered and natural colors. Right. I get a little bit more of the malted grain here as well. Yeah. Yeah, on the nose. Still a little bit of lemongrass. Yeah, a touch of fresh mown hay is what mown, I'm saying. Fresh mown hay. <laughs> That's some fresh mown hay right there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, maybe a little peanut. Maybe a little salted peanut. Really? Oh. I see why you were talking about the pronunciation of the farms. Mm -hmm. Mid cool. <laughs> mm -hmm. Dog cross. High organic. Province, single estate organic barley. Almost a little bit sweeter, not not as tart. A little bit more uh, powdered sugar type sweetness. Mm -hmm. Good call on um, the powdered sugar sweetness. And dry grassiness, right. maltiness coming through a little bit more. Again, to me, same palette. I mean, it's hanging in there. Good, good finish. 50% ABV is nice. Well, that's cool. Crop rotation is key. Our barley must take its turn in a seven-year farm cycle that also produces organic cattle, sheep, oats, mm. beans, grass, carrots, market megawatt of green electricity. Mm. Wow. Mm. When you said green, I thought green apple. <laughs> It just, from the palate. A mm -hmm. little bit fruitier. Uh, more just kind of like a lemon, lemon tang, lemon tart. 
on the beer barley, more juicy fruit type sugared sweetness. So what are we talking organic. price wise here? Both $90. $90 Both a piece. Both $90. All right. You want water? $90 and $90. Want a little water? Oh, yes. Ninety and ninety, so we're talking the same price point, year older. Mm hmm. Mm. A little bit creamier, but not far off. Mm. Now, if I was just picking between these two, I think I'd lean toward the organic. I, I think a so too. Bit more based on yeah. I'm going to go back to the beer barley. Yeah. And see, but I'm going to cleanse a little bit. Again, nothing. I'm just mm -hmm. saying I'm getting a little bit. I kind of like that multi grainness of the organic, mm -hmm. that fresh mown hay. A mm -hmm. little bit more richer, a um, little bit more depth, I think, with those with those fruit characteristics and the sweetness. Uh, beer barley, just a little bit more one-dimensional, just kind of a lemongrass note, tart right. lemon, custard. Yeah. If you like the tart, you're probably going to want that because mm -hmm. it really tarts up in the back of the tongue. Mm -hmm. Rear the palate. Yeah, as we win, I think I preferred the organic as well. Yeah. Mm. Both good. I would go, I think, a 91 on the beer barley and a 93 on the organic. 89 for both on this. Mm. Um, and it partly could be. Mm. Yeah, I like Pete. Well, and your allergies. And it could be the allergies. But I kept thinking. A little bit of Port Charlotte Pete would have been good. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> I look at the can. Mm. I see Brooklady. I think Octomore is close. Um, I think they're both worth it. I think they're both worth ninety dollars. Uh, I like them both. I wouldn't. I don't regret buying either one of them. This was a joint venture. I know you pay a little bit more for the organic. I know that happens in there. It's part of the whole organic process. Um. For me, I don't think I would go for these at 90. Mm. What I could, and again, even the, the, so I'll stay away from the Port Charlottes, which are around 69. The classic Lottie, I, you know, I mean, it gives me kind of the, a more of the flavorish profile that I enjoy. I would say even over these, but. Mm. Yeah, I'm just mm. saying the classic Lottie does it for me. I got the little mini. Well, classic it's good. Back it's there. good, but these are these excel. Do it. Hold on. <laughs> and look and see, it'll say 50% ABV. Oh, I believe you. All right, now I've been hitting this little mini bow, and I find it cute. It, first of all, it's iconic. I it, think it's and cute. Um, <laughs> easily recognizable. Yeah, you know it. It's hard to tell again. Okay, what I need to do is shine the light of my cell phone up to see how much is in mm -hmm. here. There's not much left. All right, hold on. I don't think you're going to get near the richness, near the depth out of it. No, but I get this burst of raw mm -hmm. flavor mm -hmm. and a sweetness a little heavier in here. Heavier sweetness. More, more malt, more yes. grain. Yes, more malted grain there. You know, now now this has been open. We Well, when did you open these? Last week, two weeks mm. ago. Okay. Because I don't want to talk about mm. that. Mm. I keep thinking maybe, the oh, organic the organic's right. good. Yeah, it just hit me again. Yeah. There's a, uh, underneath the mown hay... Wow, yeah. like a sweet vanilla. Mm -hmm. Definitely uh, liking the organic. So the beer barley hit me a little more plain Jane. You're right, the organic is getting richer, and that vanilla underlayment was really nice. Um, but I got to say, mm -hmm. Brooklady, you got me with the classic. <laughs> I mean, you really do. And uh, and although these are good, and it's and and I really like this organic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm just saying, at the price point, I think I could get, uh, you could almost get Don't two. do that. Oh, 
don't do that. Don't tell me what else you can get for the same price or for cheaper. Is this good and is it worth it? Yes or no? You're saying no. It's not worth saying it. it's good. Yeah, you're saying it's good. It's not worth ninety dollars. I'm I'll saying use, it is. I'll use your take. If I bought it for ninety, I would enjoy both of them, mm -hmm. but I wouldn't buy another one. Mm -hmm. I'll use that analogy. I wouldn't be upset. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't feel cheated. None of that. But I wouldn't go get a second, a third, which you know I've been known to do. Yeah. So, but quality and that organic definitely keeps kind of growing on me yeah. and has some depth. I do agree, depth and complexity. All right, you've got a Scotch God shout out. Matoski. I love the name. So this came in via our comments or some other source? No comments. Okay, comments. Uh, going way back to our Nika coffee mm. grain video, which was an early one. We're mm -hmm. in your kitchen. Mm. Might even be the first appearance of your uh, gardening hat. Ooh, love the gardening hat. Uh, but this is, so, this is on the Nika coffee grain. Uh, coffee being the still, not... Coffee is in like coffee, right. the which we discuss in there because mm -hmm. we were new to that. Yeah. We've also done the Nika coffee mold. Yes, but anyway, he says coffee still is named after Aeneas Coffee, the Irish inventor of column or continuous still. It's the same continuous still which is used for bourbon or grain whiskey distilling. You ignorant f's. Oh, there we go. I figured something mean was coming. <laughs> The whiskey is 95% corn and 5% malted barley. Wow. It's corn whiskey, nothing special, just overpriced. I bet mellow corn from Heaven Hill is better whiskey for just eight bucks. Now, what's funny, when we shot that, I would have had no idea what mellow corn is. Now no. it's on my shelf. Yeah. Thanks to you. And mellow corn's not near as good no. as it's good. Nika coffee grain. It's good, but not near as good. Right. Right. Yeah. And it's not eight bucks either. And I think me in particular back then had no idea what a coffee still was. And no. I joked around about it being coffee. Yeah. Although I knew it was a kind of still. I just didn't know the kind of, I didn't know. Now we know. So this is another one, but we'll take folks that comment at all levels. This is another person that didn't quite know that was early in, our, in the dummy's career. Mm -hmm. Did you comment? Yeah, I do not. I did, I'm sure, but I don't have my the capture of my... Yeah. I just took a screenshot of his comments. Oh, so I didn't put sure. my reply in there. I like your comments, Pat. <laughs> you have witty comments. We take them and we really mm. take them in stride. I had a guy, you know, I have a, a different show. We won't go into it. I had a live show having problems with the audio. I put on there having some technical difficulties. We're going to work through it. We're live. We don't have a net. He put on there technical difficulties is another way of saying you're ignorant. <laughs> I know, I was like, and you can't manage to handle your electronics. And he went on. I'm like, wow. Mm -hmm. I said, well, I am somewhat, uh, or incompetent. Sorry, not mm -hmm. ignorant, incompetent. I said, I am sometimes incompetent. <laughs> well, uh, YouTube has had some problems lately with audio problems mm -hmm. and using Google Hangouts. So that's not even your fault. I know, I know. But you know what I could have done is drop, had my, I still got to see how you do it. You drop yourself and then come back in and yeah. might have fixed it. All right. That was a great comment. We take good, bad, ugly, lovely, whatever kind of comments you want. Keep the comments coming, especially on YouTube. We like how all of you dummies share comments in our comment field. Patreon shout out. Brand new one dollar. Oh yeah, uh, one dollar Patreon uh, supporter. Thank you, Josh McCauley. Josh McCauley. Thank yes, you, Josh. Josh. Thank you, Josh. Uh, Patreon helps us tremendously. Uh, you know, when it comes to we, a couple of years ago, we 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 used to reach out to distilleries. We'd send out letters and say, "Hey, we'd yeah. love to review your whiskey. Right? Send us your." We stuff. haven't done that, like you said, in a couple of years. We got like one bottle out of a hundred. You know, yeah. sent to us. We got, but yeah. Anyway, because of Patreon, we've quit doing that. Mm -hmm. We are self-funded. We don't rely on distilleries sending us mm -hmm. whiskeys to review. All of this is bought. This, this on show occasion, is funded. They'll still somebody will send us something, but rarely. We ninety-five more, more from fans. Ninety-five percent of what we review, we buy. Hundred percent. So yeah. well, I was going to say hundred percent to that statement of yeah. ninety-five. Yeah. Now, if someone reaches out to us, which we just did with Sia, right. Sia Scotch, uh, yep. Karen reached out and said, hey, I'd like to send you a bottle if you'd like to look at it. Right. Sure, send it. 4G. Um, she did. There's a bourbon we're going to be looking at, hopefully, yeah. live soon. 
But because of Patreon, I mean, it helps buy us lights. It helps buy yep. us uh, manga shirts, no, camcorders, microphones. <laughs> Done two tongue things. Ethernet cables, whatever. Right. Modems, now, new routers. Now, something fun for Patreon real quick while we're on it. So, we like this new format we did last time. Not saying we'll do it all the time, but at the end of a regular live show with just both of us, we then flipped into a oh. Patreon-only Q&A. Mm -hmm. We kept that a little tight at about 45 minutes. Maybe we drifted over a little bit. But in there, we got a little folksy. I told the story. Yeah. Normally, you wouldn't be able to get that story on the regular deal. Uh, we did have some questions come in, and I actually really enjoyed that. And that was just for the Patreon folks. So there are some bonuses with content. Um, and as long as supplies last, if you uh, give us your address when you come in and back, I'll send you a Christmas card. There may be a swing involved. Enough said. Not a swinger. Swing in the backyard. Just a swing. Scotch it, you Scotch gods. Solange. Dummies. Dummies. His new thing is this. I mean, shut up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's the cue. Yeah. Sometimes he gets it. And then he fakes it sometimes when I have a game out. Whoop, 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 whoop. You got Sorry, I got the there. control.